It's that time again where I go ahead and check out your designs, whether the logo designs or just pure graphic designs like posters or packaging on my subreddit. Let's see who gets a reward. This video is brought to you by FreshBooks. Okay, starting from the top, the most upvoted, not today, let's do uh, this month because I haven't done one in ages. We'll start with this one. Karakorum Coffee Logo Design. Uh, Karakoffin Coffee. <laughs> the Karakoram Coffee, that's a tongue twister, is a cafe in the Jil Jiljit Bal Balistan, a beautiful valley surrounded by mountains. I can't even pronounce that, but it sounds awesome. Gilgit Baltistan. The name came from the Karakoram range which goes through this region. The peak represents K2, the second highest peak in the world, which is the region of Gilgit Baltistan. I must admit, I've never heard of this place, but it sounds amazing. Okie dokie. So this is interesting. I like this. It's very coffee-esque. I love the style of lettering that you've got in there. It fits the company perfectly. Not only that, I see the icon very nicely done, very simple. I think those shapes could be less jagged. With logo design, we don't want to have too many shapes in there so maybe showing and like illustrating a mountain without so much detail is what i would suggest but i love the line here one thing i would say about the stream or the valley is maybe on this side make it thicker and then thinner and that's a simple way of adding some space and giving that negative space so it, it is consistent but more illustrative. I love the rounded composition of this as well. The established in 2020, but always with established, it's EST with the dot and then 2020. The tight face design really speaks to the vintage nature of this and the peaks of the mountain. I love the sand serif coffee at the bottom as well. It works well within this composition and that composition. And I'm gonna give you an award. There you go. This is the all seeing upvote award. Well done. I'm only on 2.4 thousand gold coins or Reddit gold, so don't blame me if I don't give thousands of coins away. This next one is by Prozo XOXOXO, and it is Among Us. My wife and me both love this game. It is so fun to play. So this is the Among Us minimalist logo concept. The gridding is a great way of making sure that people love your work by just showing how you did it. It adds that professional edge to it it's becoming a bit generic to do but i kind of like it seeing how someone created it with an illustrator helps people like me and you understand how it was created i love that you've got one of these what are they called jordan what are those among us characters called no idea spaceman spaceman i know me will know but she's gone out crewmate that's it crewmate i like the look of it very nice symmetrical and balanced maybe with the triangle at the back i understand it but maybe squishing it down a little bit so it's a bit more balanced right now there's like a rectangular border around it and what you want is like more of a square one so squish that in just ever so slightly if it's possible or maybe scale it thicker if possible as well so it's not so long i see that you've used the gold ratio for this i mean the gold ratio is great to use Sometimes the proportions don't always work with the golden ratio, depending on what you're doing. Unless you're a mathematician, I would always say, be careful when it comes to the golden ratio. Don't just jump to use it. And the simple reason why is because you haven't used the golden ratio with proportions to the triangle thing. But again, you can see here how it was made. Very nice, presented very well. I like the type here. Maybe though with the typography, you could have gone for a more rounded font. So something less jaggedy because the icon is less jaggedy. Everything in Among Us is sort of like blobbish anyway. So go for something a bit more rounded, kind of like the Mindscape logo type. It's kind of rounded on the corners. Really nice. I'm going to give you a $100 silver award. Not $100. Don't, I don't want to give you $100. <laughs> okay, next one is from you whatever you're called in there. Hi, I'm a graphic designer, Junior. I made this branding identity for a healthy fit food delivery company. I would love to have some feedback. Have a great day. I love it how you guys are commenting in the subreddit. It's really nice. We've got over a thousand people in here already. So if you haven't joined the subreddit, go ahead and join in. The link's in the description. It's free. Okay, so go fit. So this is a healthy fit food delivery company. I love the fact that you've thought about this 
and I can tell. There's certain things when it comes to amateur and pro design where you can really tell the difference. And if you deconstruct it, for instance, like I'm gonna do now, it will help you understand. Number one, you've shown an element of movement. So you've shown speed through the italicized fit. The colors are bright, very bright. People are doing this all the time and it is countered and com complemented by this nice blue, dark blue. You've got a smiley face in there. So you've got the G, which looks, can I just say, really good. I like the rounded corners of Go Fit as well. It shows that it's a bit more friendly, but it shows that it stands out and it's, you know, blocky. And with everything else, you've shown the brand identity. So not just the logo, but you've shown everything else from the stationery to the relevant mock-ups. Using relevant mock-ups when it comes to design is a huge part of presenting. If you're trying to sell an idea to either me, and I see a lot of presentations from you guys online, and I also present a lot. One thing you've got to know is relevant mock-ups and showing how the logo will be used with the brand identity. So for instance, the green is all there. You've shown paper, you've shown broccoli on there, which is clever. And you've got those little metal food parcels that you can send out to people, branded so people know. And this is what companies will be looking for. Companies will be looking for branded mock-ups how you're going to use the logo if you were just to show this logo as it is black and white even with a bit of color without relevant mock-ups even if they're not real even if you're using templates they're not going to understand so always use mock-ups amazing job this one is definitely i think my most favorite project on the reddit i've seen to date and you being a junior this is like really good you should be really happy with this for this I am going to give a whopping 500 gold award. This next one is a luxury logo exploration. There's not much context in there, but let's have a look. So the problem that I'm having here is I kind of get it with the wheat on the mock-ups here, but I have no context to it. Can I just say the logo looks great? One thing to keep in mind is the leading here from Classic Innovation uh, needs to be further it needs to be more leaded out which means the space in between the luxury and classic innovation needs to be leaded out and i would also suggest that you've gone too high on that contrast you've skipped multiple weights something that to keep in mind to keep contrast there so people see luxury and so they can easily see classic innovation is to only skip two weights that classic innovation there looks way too thin one thing to keep in mind as well to make it look all uniform within this composition is the luxury the the weight of the type there should be the same weight as the the icon especially if it's line art that's just a really cool tip so what i do is increase the leading here between classic innovation and luxury and then also make sure that you've kerned there i can see a kerning error with the x and the u make sure to kern the next one is mattia and it's custom logo for a psychologist cool so we've got to try and make psychologists look nice not scary get rid of that taboo through the branding which is something that you can do what i do like about this is the blue color that you've used that it works well for mindfulness we see that companies like headspace are using like very simplistic shapes so the orange circle orange dot in the app icon and also i love the free flow nature of the line art it's great illustration but for a logo you could maybe think about simplifying this down from less than an illustration to more of a unified mark and that's what a logo is the composition kind of works but again the lettering here for the logo type of the name is kind of a bit displaced so when we scale this down it becomes hard to read especially this part down here get rid of that you don't want to be too literal about this if it's for a brand before i go into the next one i just want to thank the sponsor of this video the people that make this happen fresh books FreshBooks is a cloud accounting service where you can send invoices, track all your expenses by linking it to your bank account and save real time when doing your tax and expenses and invoicing. If you're anything like me, when I was freelance designer, it was the bane of my life 
keeping track of all expenses, making sure clients were paying on time wasn't good. Well, FreshBooks has got all the tools that you need for tracking your invoices, making sure that when a client has received it, they've read it. It will save you countless hours on your tax and understanding how your business is doing. If you would like to try FreshBooks for completely free, no credit card required for 30 days, click the link down below. If you like it, it's not expensive. It's just a great service to have. I've been using them since I was a freelancer and I would always recommend them to you, not just because they sponsor me, but because I genuinely use them. So this next one is right up my street, Windwalker 17, a logo for a clothing brand. And actually I designed this two years ago when I first started. So this is very much, you know, vintage, black letter, gothic, kind of a German vibe going on here. What I like about it is the M in the middle. I think you could just keep that, and get rid of the things at the side. David Martinez, I see how you've done it. You've got the D in between. The problem is it becomes a bit hard to see because it's a, You've got this whole part here. If you were to have just the M, that would be symmetrical, both left and right. But because you've got this sort of round counter, which is a typographic term for the negative space on the D, then it kind of loses that vibe. I like the M, it's really well done. And I think you could just use that. This next one is by Danielle Hayden. What I like is the brand idea of it. It kind of looks like Wendy's, I think. It's very retro. I like it. I love the bubbly nature of it. I like the typography. It stands out and the Cider Co with the apple in there fits really nicely. The choice of typography really speaks to the sort of old style retro nature of it as well. It's a brand that you wouldn't normally see on a cider bottle. I like the colors there. Careful, it kind of looks like Coca-Cola, but that's just because of the brand colors and that's because there's a bottle in there as well. I love the idea of having the apple on top of the bottle cap. Relevant mock-ups on an app as well. I'm not too sure what the app's about, but it works. And I like the patterns using the actual font for the logo in the background and the actual packaging, very nice as well. There could be a bit more inside of there. It looks a bit blank behind the Ruby Cider Co logo. But again, well done, looks really nice. Well guys, I hope you did enjoy that video. And listen, if you want to learn more about design, learning how to price correctly your work not charging five dollars or less or even just two hundred dollars if you want to go to that next level keep watching my videos we're doing more professional content this year aimed towards your business and getting your design business going some of the content you can expect to see this year is learning how to really scale your design business what to have in contracts how to scope out new clients in your local area and online so pressing that red subscribe button Button, you're going to get all that content for free. If you did enjoy the video, press like, share, let me know in the comments down below what you thought, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Here is another Reddit design video that I know you'll love. And if you've watched that one before, re watch it or watch another one of my videos in the recommended list next to me. Go on, watch it. I won't be mad. Cool.